welcome friends welcome to the channel upsc maths so in previous video we learned what is operations research what are the applications of operations research what is linear programming problem what are the requirements of uh, linear programming problems and in this video we will be starting with graphical method graphical method is also called as geometrical method linear programming problems involving two variables are effectively solvable by graphical method so we will be following some standard steps in this method and these are the steps you have to formulate the mathematical model then consider the given constraints as equality and plot the constraints on coordinate plane then determine the convex region the region so obtained is called as the solution space or the region of feasible solution then determine the vertices of region and find the value of objective function at any vertex the vertex which gives the optimal value of objective function gives the desired solution or you can use the dotted line method in which we have to draw the line considering objective function as zero which passes through the origin then move this line parallel to itself away from origin till it is farthest away from origin for maximization type of sum and till it is closest from origin for minimization type of sum you will understand these steps easily after solving a sum so let's start with a sum so the objective function is to maximize z is equal to 3x plus 4y subject to constraints 4x plus 2y less than equal to 80 2x plus 5y less than equal to 180 x greater than 0 y greater than 0 this x greater than 0 and y greater than 0 indicates that your solution space lies only in first quadrant so step 1 is to formulate mathematical model we don't have to do this step for this sum since the question already expressed in mathematical model we will skip this step as of now then we have to consider the given constraints as equality and plot them in coordinate plane so we have two constraints 4x plus 2y less than equal to 80 and 2x plus 5y less than equal to 180 we have to consider the constraints as equality so to find the value of coordinate points i will draw a table like this then put x is equal to 0 in the above equations you will get the value of y which i am getting as 40 and 36 so my coordinate points become 0, 40 and 0, 36 then put y is equal to 0 in the above equation to find the value of x i am getting x as 20 and 90 so my coordinate points become 20, 0 and 90, 0 these points represent the coordinate points of this line and these points represent the coordinate points of this line let's plot the points in coordinate plane so this is my coordinate plane let's first plot the line 4x plus 2y equal to 80 so we have the points a comma b let's plot them in x y axis so this becomes my first line let's plot the second line so we have the points c comma d so we got the second line as you can see both the lines are intersecting at some point let's name it as e to find the coordinate points of e 
we have to solve these two equations. You can solve these equation directly using your scientific calculator. You will get x equal to 2.5 and y equal to 35. Now we have to determine the convex region or the solution space. To find the solution space, remember this statement. If the condition is true, the region will be below the line. If the condition is false, the region will be above the line. You can use the cheat code TB. Let's find the region for first constraint. To find the region, put x equal to 0 and y equal to 0. So you will get 0 less than 80, which is true. And if the condition is true, the region will be below the line. So the region will be below 4x plus 2y less than equal to 80. So this will be the region. Let's find the region for second constraint. Put x equal to 0 and y equal to 0. You will get 0 less than 180, which is true. And if the condition is true, the region will be below the line. So, the region will be below this line. And this is the region for second constraint. And the required solution space is the region where both the regions are intersecting. Hence, the solution space is O, C, E, B, O. And this O represents that the solution space is a enclosed region. Now we have to find the value of objective function at each vertex. The given objective function is Z equal to 3X plus 4y. Let's first find the value of objective function at origin 0, 0. When I substitute x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 in the given objective function, I will get the value as 0. Let's find the value of objective function at b 20, 0. So we get 60. At E, we get 147.5. And at C, we get 144. Since the objective is to maximize, we have to select the maximum value among them, which is 147.5. So the maximum value is 147.5 and it is obtained at E 2.5,35. Hence, the optimal solution becomes x equal to 2.5 and y equal to 35 and z max is 147.5. We have one more method to calculate the objective function. For that, draw a line considering the objective function as 0. This equation can be written as 3x equal to minus 4y, which becomes x by y equal to minus 4 by 3. Now plot minus 4, comma 3 in coordinate plane. So you get this line. Now draw the line parallel to itself as far as possible until the farthest point within the visible region is touched by this line. 
so this becomes the parallel line which is as far as possible from the origin until the farthest point within the visible region is touched by this line hence z max becomes 147.5 and the optimal solution is obtained at x equal to 2.5 and y equal to 35 so these are the similar sums which you can practice so that's it thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe the channel